I'm back so in this video we are going to talk about the calendar and how to add your um, like calendar entries now calendar app is right here this contact reminder so you're gonna launch it and you can see oh wow I was not expecting anything in here let's make it bigger double click actually worked it made it uh, maximize oh so basically they're pretty much here everything and it's a good calendar apple fool's day good friday easter beginning of ramadan earth day coming tomorrow and uh, all that good stuff cinco de mayo all right so from here you can change the layout basically it's saying which one is today today june and what's this does it goes by oh today it's basically probably is for this one anyways you can change the view for example if you want to go by day and if you have a long day you can see all your uh, like appointments for the day here if you want to see your week's view you will go over here on the day one you could click simply i believe you could click on something uh, on the day and it will show you that day as you can see it's 332 right here so the line basically shows where you are at at that day weeks view give you the whole weeks uh, view from left to right and a month gives you the whole month year sh should be interesting so basically year does not show you anything on the main page you'll have to actually click on the day that you are interested in and you will click on that and it will show you oh christmas falls on a saturday okay labor day is on saturday come on all right so we're gonna work in the week's view i believe let's do that now if for, for example you were to add an entry into your calendar you can simply click on double click it 415 basically it's saying what's the event name you will say something like you know gym probably in the morning <laughs> or nobody's or you know uh, global meeting where even though it's morning for you maybe it's uh, you 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 are in a meeting that's being held by a host in Japan or in Australia or whatever yes evening there you have to be in that meeting so you go ahead with that now if you if you had clicked on the wrong slot from here it's pretty easy but if you want to like micromanage it it wasn't 4 15 it was 4 30 you can change it from here uh, from the time uh, no what happened okay so probably the time is oh time is there it wasn't just uh, showing up for this it does for this but not for that now start time ah so interesting you can't change the start time you can't uh, do that that's a uh, ridiculous so we're gonna go ahead and delete it basically by clicking over here so you have to be a little bit more careful if you were to change your start time again you will have to use so I clicked on 445 I want to do it the uh, starts uh, you can change the start time now all day is all day is basically when you have a for example you're a hiring event you will not be in your office and your cubicle you will be on that you know you will be throughout the day you will be just doing hiring stuff so you will select this and basically your co-workers they will know hey okay he will be on the floor or he will be docking uh, up and down the hall you know or up and uh, down the escalator different floors that's how it goes now the other cool thing, uh, I, I didn't like that you can change the start time. You have to be like, go about it. But this is a fair UL, f f um, the, do the customization other than the start time that 
hey Apple fix this all right so travel time is basically uh, how much time it will take and the alert is if you want your Mac to alert you hey you have this meeting in this much time so you will get that from here now events is what kind of uh, uh, calendar type it is uh, this appointment is going to be uh, is it going to be a personal home one or work one so basically if you choose work you see the color coding changed now there's one other cool thing about it is that you have these options over here it, it basically shows you the color code birthdays if you were to add <laughs> and it will show you US holidays and I will go by month views and nope they're not saying they're not changing okay so oh they're color code so US holidays are this blue color I was thinking that uh, in Outlook there there the calendars kind of overlaps basically you have for example when i go to my work i i bring up the calendar it has so much information that it's almost overwhelming it has like tons of meetings and tons of uh, like uh, announcements appointments uh, other people's notification who is in your team is going to be out of the office the multiple multiple times it's multiple people's so your calendar looks like um you know a giant maybe a uh, wikipedia <laughs> so you have to like go through that so outlook has this great feature if you select it uh oh it has this too so basically that will actually remove everything from the uh, uh, screen so you don't have to click here you have to click actually on the icon my bad now the other one I wanted to talk about was this. Oh, what's this? New or replied. These are the invitations. So invitation basically is uh, if you were to go and create an event, you say whole team meeting, and you go over add invitees. So if you, for example, you whoever you invite, it sends them a basically yeah. The, it will be someone in your address book or in your enterprise so it sends them an email and they have to actually accept it in that email and that's how it will be added to their calendar on their outlook or whatever and basically that will should it will automatically add it and show up on their account so that's how this goes so the replied one is that people basically uh, whoever had said that I, I accept I will be there uh, by clicking on that link uh, on the very top uh, they will show up here a new one will be just new so this one is uh, quick event so you can see by the example movie at 7 p.m. on Friday so it will add the, on the very next Friday I'm gonna go with the uh, probably hmm, um, I, my son's appointment is uh, for the doctor so let's go doctor appointment on Wednesday at 3 15 p.m. and you can see it's doctor's appointment it's on Wednesday so it's not going it for today it's for the next one and it's going for the 3 15 that I wrote and it's giving me automatically a 415 so basically I can not change the again the start time but I can definitely change the end time so and again sir you can search all those that if, for example if I go Cinco it shows Cinco de Mayo on 5 5 showing up here this one right here all right so let's wrap this video here for the calendar if this video has helped you Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one.